2024 brings some important changes to voting in North Carolina. When you vote in person, at early voting, or on election day, you will need to bring and show an acceptable photo ID. When voting by absentee mail, you will need to include a photocopy of your acceptable photo ID or a completed ID exception form. And you will need to make sure that your ballot is delivered to your county board of elections by 7.30 p.m. on election day. But what happens after we vote? What does the tabulation process look like? Who does it involve? It's important that North Carolinians understand this process. Where do our election results come from? Some people want you to believe that our elections lack integrity, that the people who run our elections don't deserve our trust. The truth is, many safeguards are in place to ensure that your voice is heard and that our elections are free and fair. Let's talk about absentee by mail ballots, a hot topic in 2020 due to COVID and an option that will continue to be popular in the fall of 2024 as well. Let's talk about the elements of the absentee ballot container envelope. There's the voter's signature, the printed name, address, and signature of two witnesses, or the name, signature, and official stamp of a notary public, a photocopy of your acceptable ID or ID exception form in the clear plastic sleeve of the return envelope, and adequate postage. This year, it's $1.63 or three forever stamps. These are musts. The witnesses can and will be contacted if there are any questions about the status of the voter who submitted that ballot. When voters mail back their absentee by mail ballots or hand deliver them to the County Board of Elections office by 7.30 p.m. on election day, how can they feel sure that it was delivered and that it will be counted? The voter's absentee container envelope has a barcode on it that is scanned when it's delivered. You can check the status of your ballot on the ballot tracks portal or on the voter search tool. Once it's returned and received at your County Board of Elections office, the first step is an examination of the container envelope by the Board of Elections staff. They look to see that all information the voter was supposed to provide is entered. If there are any missing or questionable items, the staff will reach out to you in writing with an explanation of the problem they found and let you know what options you have to correct it. Your ballot will not be approved and the envelope will not be opened until the corrections are made. After your container envelope has passed this initial review, it's presented to the five members of your County Board of Elections. The board members make the final decision about whether to approve an absentee by mail container envelope and ballot. This final decision is done during public meetings. This process by law must start five weeks before the election. During this process, your voter record will be updated and you will be able to check your absentee by mail status on voter search. Fact. You can request an absentee ballot and then decide not to use it. Your voter record does not show that you have requested an absentee ballot, so none of the polling place workers will know that you've received a ballot when you show up to vote in person. Let's play devil's advocate for a moment. You may be wondering, what if someone else finds a voter's unmarked absentee by mail ballot? Here's the answer. All absentee ballots that are mailed are accompanied by an envelope that matches that particular ballot. Your absentee ballot can only be returned in the envelope that was in the packet delivered along with the ballot. Once your absentee by mail ballot is received and accepted by the Board of Election, you will be marked as voted. Therefore, your name will not appear in the poll book at early voting sites in your county or on election day. There are safeguards to prevent double voting. Remember, that is a felony. Use the absentee tracking tools, ballot tracks, and voter search to help you stay informed about the status of your absentee ballot. You can always call your County Board of Elections if you have any questions or concerns. Now, your County Board of Elections has reviewed and accepted your absentee ballot. Then what? Election officials are authorized to begin opening the container envelopes and scanning the ballots. This process mirrors what happens when someone votes at an early voting site. All voted ballots are stored in a secure location following all North Carolina State Board of Elections protocols. The tabulator, both for absentee by mail ballots and early voting ballots, keeps a record of the votes marked on the ballot. On election night at 730, after all the polls have closed, the results of the tabulator are run and the votes are reported to the public. No results are allowed to be released until after all voting is completed. North Carolina is fortunate that election officials are permitted to begin processing absentee ballots before election day. It makes the process of learning the election results go faster. 
Let's reiterate, this is a transparent process. Voters can attend the review meetings that will be scheduled weekly before the election. Voters can check the online status of their returned absentee ballots using both ballot tracks and the voter search tool. Canvas occurs 10 days after the election, where all the provisional ballots and all other ballots are reconciled before the results are final. This is also open to the public, and we encourage you to attend those meetings at your county board of elections. During Canvas, the sample audit counts, a hand-to-eye count of the ballot, are done to make sure that the tabulators were accurately recording the votes that were marked on ballots. All the ballots, voted and unvoted, and authorization to vote forms are reconciled to make sure all the numbers match. The provisional ballots are counted. The absentee by mail ballots that had not been received or tabulated prior to the election are evaluated, approved, and counted. Candidates whose results were within a certain percentage can request a recount. Canvas is the time when any ir irregularity can trigger an investigation of the election by the State Investigation Division. After Canvas, the State Board of Elections certifies all election contests and the winners are officially known. Let's talk a little bit about hand-to-eye recounts, either the standard county audit process or in the case of close elections where a recount is requested by one of the candidates. Each ballot is analyzed by two bipartisan workers, one from each party, to examine and count the vote recorded on the ballot marked by each voter. The ballot itself preserves the record of the voter's selection and is permanent. There has been no evidence of hacking in North Carolina, even though we do have proof that the Russians tried to access our election in 2016. At polling locations, no computers, tabulators, or other voting machines are connected to the internet. Your votes are recorded directly from your ballot and do not go through an internet connection. The State Board of Elections is on guard. They take our elections very seriously. The best protection for any election system is the vigilance and participation of voters. Know what should happen when you go to vote. Rely on trusted official sources of information like the League of Women Voters. At the polls, check your ballot before you vote. Help election officials follow all the policies that have been set up to ensure a safe election and report any problems you observe. Lastly, attend any and all meetings at your Board of Elections where they process your vote. By exercising patience, we can be sure that every vote is counted and that all our voices are heard in every election. What should your next steps be? Make a voting plan soon if you haven't done so already. Use vote411.org, the League of Women Voters nonpartisan voter guide. It will tell you where you can early vote and when, where your election day polling place is located, information about the candidates, and more. It will also show you exactly what your ballot will look like. Contact the League if you have questions. Communications at lwvnc.org. We are happy to help or call your County Board of Elections office. Here are important dates when it comes to the November 2024 election in North Carolina. The League of Women Voters of North Carolina's website has information on monitoring County Board of Election meetings and monitoring the canvas. Please go to our homepage to learn more. Thank you for voting.